everyone, welcome back. And this is going to be the third part of the foundation plan. And in this tutorial, we're going to put the dimensions and a couple of multiliters and maybe even a note um, on this drawing and put it into the title block, scale, scale the viewport, and we'll be all set to save this drawing. All right, so let's get started. Um, so what I'm going to do over here is before I put my dimensions in, I'm going to make sure that my scalar is at an eighth inch equals a foot, and it is, because that's going to affect the size of the dimensions when they come in. And that scale is actually the same scale as my viewport scale. All right, so that's what we want. We want those two to match. So I'm going to come up here to linear dimension, and I'm going to just start putting some um, linear dimensions in here. And what I'm doing is um, I'm right clicking after each linear dimension to repeat the uh, linear dimension command. And you'll also notice that I come to the outermost points um, on this particular uh, foundation wall to make sure that my extension lines don't overlap. All right, uh, now we have a couple of multiliters. So let's go up to the multiliter command. And I do like to use the OSNAP called Nearest, which I happen to have on my OSNAP toolbar over here. And that allows me to pick anywhere on any line. Okay, so I'm going to come up. There's my second pick. And we'll just put the note in here, 8 inch wall thickness. And I'm going to do a control enter to get out of that. And again, uh, next leader, I'm going to use my Nearest OSNAP. And this one here is for 16 inch wide footing, control enter. Okay, if you don't like to use control enter, you can always pick with your mouse outside of that multi line text editor. All right, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a note in here. So I'm going to do that with multi line text. So I'll just come up to the big A, which starts multi line text, make a window. Uh, the window is the width of the paragraph for the text and I'm going to add in here a note must be above 40 now here we need a degree symbol so I'm just going to come up to symbol there on the ribbon and add in the degree symbol and there we have that control enter and that looks pretty good so now let's go into our layout one tab where our title block is and here's our title block and if you can't see your drawing um, in the viewport what you can do is you can do a zoom extents um, and that will automatically bring everything that's in the drawing into the viewport now I'm gonna pan over here and I'm gonna come down to my scaler and I'm going to put my scale at 1 8 inch equals a foot. Okay, did you see that? Let me do that again. I'll kind of zoom out there a little bit. 1 8 inch equals a foot. All right. Okay, there. Now I just double clicked outside the viewport to come into paper space. And now that I'm in paper space, I can um, edit my title block. All right. And there you have it. We have the foundation plan at an eighth inch equals a foot scale, and we're ready to save or print the drawing um, and just continue on from there. All right, good luck with the foundation plan, and if you have any questions, as always, you can let me know. Thanks so much, and thanks for watching.